Hi, I'm Roderick Reed, and within my loft, where for the past year or so I've been working on and developing a kite powered generator. It's based on a ring, uh, and this is the, the daisy project that we're working on. It's got a stem from the ground, uh, goes to a, a ring, an inflated ring, with kites all around it. The kites spin the ring, and that spins a generator on the top of the bendy stem made out of a pipe, a water pipe. The whole rig is lifted up into the air by a lifter kite, which I've made a controller for, and I'm going to fit the whole lot together and make some power. I'm very excited about the prospect, the future of these kites. Um, I hope you can come along with me on this journey, and I'll explain now in this video why this is going to be worthwhile. Thanks. Amazingly, it even works mast-mounted, set off the wind with only four loosely tied kites. But I'm wanting to go up into the atmosphere with it. Where you get stronger, more consistent winds, the higher up you go. Doing it this way, I hope to make wind turbines much more efficient and less polluting. Currently, they use towers and concrete, which take an awful lot of energy in making. The tools to make this are very light, and all the technology is proven. But with a 21st century approach to this technology, this ancient technique can be extended, and we can make use of it in far-flung places all around the globe, where it can be great benefit to people on a very low budget. As you see, this was made with not much cash at all. It can be configured in many different ways, across valleys like you can see here, or even, remarkably, you fill the bladder with water, it can work underwater. Because water is a thousand times denser than air, you can get great energy from rivers and tidal streams. A standard windmill uses a hub and blades, stiff blades, to push the wingtips out to the side, uh, where they can go round and round. The tips are the very most uh, productive part of a standard windmill. So I've created kites out on the tips, out on this ring, uh, to produce all the power here. This stops a lot of the vortex from the central hub. And you see my hub here is very small. And it's just string that goes out to the ring ed edges. Uh, the width is very important, the, the diameter there, so that you can avoid twisting. As long as there's torsion tension, here's the top tensioning hub, as long as that's in tension with the lifter kite, you can transmit the torque and the power from the ring rotation back down to the, the hub which sits upwind of the, the lifter kite and the, the ring as it's spinning. So the whole thing becomes materially much more efficient. Another thing I plan to investigate in the future is extension underneath lifter kite meshes. With this you could carry strings and focus the direction that they're facing, uh, multiple strings uh, at one time. A seaborne floating cage with um, a direct drive generator base could very well be um, a, a, a fantastic application for these ring generators. I expect that as these towers rise in altitude, ring diameters should grow accordingly. Uh, wings will become higher aspect, faster moving, the greater diameter providing more torque. The improvement in safety is one of the most critical aspects of this design. Everything at the top is light and the, to the out is light and stretchy so that the wings will fold back when they're overpowered these top and outer components are designed to fail gradually so that maintenance can be um, carried out before anything critical occurs to the system. The bottom and central components are all designed to keep uh, integrity in the whole system. The, the lower down in the system you are, the more tension there is, and so that has to hold 
no matter what. This project is just about ready to launch, really. So it'd be great if you could join me um, for this project, especially uh, being the first of its kind, and look forward to seeing what happens in the next phase. Thank you for your time. So I'm not really looking for a lot um, in terms of cash for this. I'm really looking to recover my costs, which haven't been huge. There's some fun opportunities for you to uh, come along and look at testing, to uh, hang flags, sponsor the front of it. Uh, I think it's going to be seen quite a lot of places soon. Um, so it might be a good time to call in a sponsor on this. I've got my bladder sponsored already, not my bladder, but you know, the ring. You can have me turn up and give you a presentation with short hair. That'd be nice. Um, ah, there's some. You can come and stay here, uh, not in the loft. Uh, in my house, uh, yeah, around the village, got pals here. Um, come and see the tests. You can sponsor a course of study at my local uh, university. Get your name on the website as sponsor or top sponsor. Thanks very much for your efforts. Please donate. Alright, cheers. Thanks.